Hi everybody and welcome to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle. Today I have a battle against Rocky and there's kind of an interesting story behind this battle. Rocky is a uh, fellow Pokemon enthusiast and YouTube newcomer like me and he actually found me on my channel. We talked a little bit and decided it would be a cool idea to have a battle and post it from both sides on our respective channels. So uh, that's what we did, and this is my side of the battle. So as you can see, his team is very strong, uh, made up almost entirely of OUs, so this is going to be quite the difficult uh, challenge for me. So that said, we are going to get into it. So, I led with Ambipom, and he led with Lopunny. So, he goes right for the Mega Evolution into Mega Lopunny. And he outspeeds me, hits me with the Fake Out, and uh, that does about a third, and he gets the Flinch. So, um, I just stayed in here and let him take me out with that drain punch. I didn't really have a good switch out option, so I kind of had no choice but to let that happen. So uh, then I come in with Charizard, and I go for my Mega Evolution into Mega Charizard Y. And Drought is going to activate to turn the sunlight harsh. So again, he outspeeds me, hits me with the Thunder Punch, and uh, that drops me to 36 health, but I do survive, and hit him with a Flamethrower, and because of the extra damage from the Sunlight, that is going to be enough to take him out in one shot. So then he comes in with Dragonite, and uh, I switch out here, predicting an extreme speed. I do want to save my Charizard, so I come in with Trevenant. And uh, he did go for the extreme speed, so that's not going to do anything to me. So uh, then he switches out, not really sure why, if he's either choice itemed or doesn't have a good move for me. But he comes in with Landris, and he gets the Intimidate to lower my attack. And uh, I just went for the Rock Slide, and that barely does anything as you can see. So I have to switch now, um, not really much I can do to this thing. So I come in with Bisharp. And uh, he goes for the Stealth Rock, just to get the Entry Hazard set up. So uh, then he switches out, I'm not really sure why, uh, he could have just used Earthquake, but um, he comes in with Magnezone instead. And um, I went for the Sucker Punch, predicting an attack, uh, and that didn't do anything. So uh, then I have to stay in because of uh, the ability Magnet Pull on Magnezone. And I hit him with a Brick Break, which does about half, so that's pretty good. And uh, he uses Hidden Power. And uh, it was super effective, but I did survive it with 42 health, which is going to let me hit him with another Brick Break. And that is going to take his Magnezone down. So then he comes back in with Landris and gets the Intimidate to lower my attack. So I just go for the Sucker Punch, I want to do some damage before I get taken out here. Uh, drops him down a little below half, and uh, then he hits me with the U-Turn, which is going to finish my Bisharp off. And he gets the Switch Out, and comes back in with his Dragonite. So I come in with Vaporeon then, it's the best counter I have for Dragonite and I get damaged by the rocks. So uh, he switches out then, probably predicting an Ice Beam, and comes in with Tentacruel. But I actually anticipated that switch and used Shadow Ball instead. Um, and even though that was a crit, that only did about a third, so that's not that good at all. And uh, he recovers some health with the Black Sludge, and I recover some health with my Leftovers. So I have to switch out then, I know I can't really do much to this thing. Uh, so I come in with Trevenant again, 
and get damaged by the rocks. And he goes for the toxic spikes uh, to get a second entry hazard set up. So uh, now anything I switched in is going to get hit with the stealth rock and get poisoned. So um, then he goes for the protect um, just to scout and uh, get another turn of uh, poison sludge recovery, no doubt. I just went for the horn leech. So um, then he switches out. And uh, he comes in with Politoed. And uh, Drizzle is going to activate to make it rain. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why he did this, because uh, I went for the Horn Leech again. I guess he didn't think I was going to use it twice in a row, but uh, that hit him did about two-thirds. And I recovered uh, my health, so that was good. So then I switch out here, uh, predicting he's going to outspeed and hit me with the ice beam. So I come in with Charizard as fodder because I know that the stealth rock is going to finish me off, which it does. And he just went for the ice beam, so didn't do anything because there was nothing there. Then I come in with Thunderous and I get damaged by the stealth rock. So then he switches out, um, predicting the Thunderbolt most likely, coming in with Landorus again and he gets the Intimidate to lower my attack. But I actually predicted that switch and used Psychic instead. So uh, that is going to be enough to take his Landorus down. And I take some damage from the Life Orb. So then he comes back in with Dragonite. And uh, I switch out here. I'm not really sure what's coming, but um, I need to try and save Thunderous. So I come in with Trevenant and I get damaged by the stealth rock and I get poisoned by the toxic spikes so uh, he goes for the outrage and uh, because I am poisoned my defense is cut so uh, the outrage is actually going to take my trevenant down in one shot so uh, then I come in with Vaporeon again and uh, get damaged by the stealth rock and poisoned by the toxic spike so uh, then he's going to use the Outrage again because he has to. And uh, unfortunately, same situation with Vaporeon. Because of being poisoned, its defense was cut and uh, it got knocked out with one Outrage. Uh, and the Outrage does confuse his Dragonite then. So I come back in with Thunderous. This is my last Pokemon and I get damaged by the Stealth Rock. So uh, he switches out here. He could have stayed in and... Uh, risked it and tried to take me out, but I guess he wanted to play it safe and came in with Politoed instead. Um, and I went for the Thunderbolt to get as much damage as I could, and that is going to finish his Politoed off. And I take some damage from the Life Orb. So then he comes back in with Tentacruel, and uh, I'm just going to hit that with a Thunderbolt. And um, <clears throat> that is going to be enough to finish it off as well. And I take more damage from the Life Orb. So uh, then he comes back in with Dragonite finally. This is his last Pokemon. And uh, as I predicted, he is just going to go for the Extreme Speed to finish me off. Nothing I can do about that. And that is game. I lost this one to Rocky. And it was a good battle. Um, in the end, it was just the entry hazards that caught up with me. Um, having both the uh, Stealth Rock and the Toxic Spike out was more than I could deal with, so uh, that did, up, did end up costing me. Um, but it was a good battle. Thanks for watching. As always, feel free to like and or comment on the video, as well as subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more new battles in the future. And also... Uh, Please check out Rocky's channel, um, Monterey Magikarp is the name, and um, I'm going to uh, post a link to his channel in the video description here, so you can check him out. Um, he has his side of the battle up, and uh, he has some other cool battles as well to check out. He's a good player, so uh, feel free to check him out as well, like, comment, and subscribe to him also. So uh, that's it. And we will see you next time.